Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Good morning, fabulous first grade. It is our wonderful Wednesday. I have another story to share with you. It's called Look What Brown Can Do by T. Marie Harris, and it's illustrated by Nita Ivanova. This is all about African American people who have contributed amazing things in the different uh, business and art and all kinds of interesting facts that you could learn. And for example, there's Gordon Parks. Yeah, he was a celebrated photojournalist. That means he took pictures and kind of shared news and historical things through pictures. And we also have, um, oh, I can't say her name, Mella Va Warren Fuller. There's just some amazing people that I've never heard of before, and I think we should all know about them. So you might like to look for this book, Look What Brown Can Do. I hope you'll find it because I think there's some things in there that we all need to learn about, people that have made a difference in our world, and we need to celebrate them. So look for this book at your county public library or on Sora or when you're shopping at a bookstore. See what you can find. All right, let's see who is number three on our countdown. Are you ready? Okay, here we had Wilson five, Scandinavian Middle School four. Number three today is Ewing Eagles. All right, Ewing Eagles, great job. I'm so proud of you. I was a Ewing Eagle from kindergarten all the way to sixth grade. So my hat is off to you, good job. Hey. I would love to send you a activity book. Do you have one yet? I would love to send one to you. We have Pinkalicious and Arthur and Curious George, all kinds of fun things. We, oh, super. We have Super Y. I know that you would love to have these books with you. So if you'll send me a letter and send it to me right here in our PBS classroom, I would love to send you one of those activity books, okay? I can't wait to hear from you. All right, my friends, it's time for us to warm up our brains and train our ears for sound. Today, we're gonna play a blending game. You're so good at blending, you're experts, but we're gonna try to blend some words with our focus sound. Are you ready? Okay, I'm gonna give you the sounds. I want you to put them together and tell me my word. Here we go. I, t, e. Put it together fast. S, I, t, e. City. Good job. All right, let's try this one. M, e, s, e. Messy. Good for you. How about this one? F, a, n, e. Fun, funny. Good job, great job listening. Sometimes blending can be tricky when we have words that have more than one syllable. I'm so proud of how you stuck with that. It's time for us to do fluency. This is where we practice the sounds that we've already learned so that we make sure that we know them really well. Here we go. I-G-H says I. I-E says I. O A says O. O W says O. O E says O. A Y says A. A I says A. E A says E. E E says E. And I-E can also say E. Good job. All right, let's take a look at our chart. Remember, we're talking about the long E sound. 
and we're focusing on two of the ways to spell that sound. When we hear the E sound, it can be spelled with a Y. Y says E. Or it can also be spelled with an E-Y. Say it with me. E-Y says E. All right, I have a word here that we're going to practice blending together. Are you ready? Do you see our consonant blend here? Good. What else do you notice? Good. Yes, I noticed the double consonants here, N and N. That means what? Why is that important to know? Right, because it tells us what sound that this vowel is going to make. It's going to be a short I. And then we already know this is going to say E. So here, let's try it. Sk, sk, in, skin, E. Skinny. Great job. Wow, you read that whole word. Terrific. Okay, are you ready to build some words with me? I can't wait. All right, let's try the word happy. Are you ready? Let's sound it out. H-A-P-E. Let's see, what do we need? Yes, we need an H. H-A-P. Right. What do you think? That's a short A. What do you think we need here? Yes, we need two of them to make that A stay short. Hap, and then we need a Y to say E. Happy, how'd you do? Terrific. Let's try another one. Let's see if you can help me spell the word baby. Baby. Okay, now listen, this is a tricky one. What does it start with? B, B, good. B, A. Oh, that's, going to be the A sound. That sound says its name. B, A, B. Right, another B. Now, do we need two Bs? Why not? Right, we don't need two because this says A. If we put another B up there, that would say Bab, Babby. What? That doesn't make sense. So we don't need an, another B because this A says A. Baby. I'm going to steal this Y over here from Skinny. Okay? Baby. Good job. Wow, that was tricky. See how much you know about letters and sounds? Let's spell one more. Let's do messy. Messy. What do we start with? M. Mm. Yep, that's the M. M. Mm -e -e -e. Sometimes that one's hard for boys and girls to hear. Mess. Okay, that's an E, that's a short E, so what do we need to do with the S? Right, we need two of them. Mess E. I hope you are not messy. Good job. Wow, great reading. All right, let's take a look at the last row of our reading chart, just for some practice in, um, on a regular chart. Are you ready? Here's our EY that says E, valley, monkey, honey. Good. Let's read the last sentence. The key got lost in the muddy pond. Good job. Great reading. All right, my friends, it's time for us to look at some high frequency words. You are really getting the hang of that long E sound. Let's take a look at these words today. This word is hard. Hard. Will you say it with me? H-A-R-D. Hard. Good. This word is found. Spell it with me. F-O-U-N-D. Found. All right. Here are our two sentences. Jen, hmm, her coat. And let's read the next one. It can be hmm to wake up. All right, what do you think? Jen hard her coat? Mm, no, it can be hard to wake up. Oh, that's true, right? And Jen found her coat. Good job. We have to make sure that we put those words in the right sentence, otherwise it doesn't make sense. And remember, reading is supposed to make sense. If it doesn't make sense, we have to go back and read it again because we've probably made a mistake somewhere. 
All right, yesterday we started talking about compound words. And we're going to talk about them again today. So let's take a look at our poster for our compound word surgery. Let's remember that a compound word is two words, usually smaller words, put together to make a new word with a new meaning. So they can be really long words when you put them together, and some boys and girls get nervous when they see a long word. I want you to start looking for the smaller words inside the big words, and that will help you. Let's take a look at this one. Here we have tooth and brush. When we put it together, it becomes toothbrush. It's a brush that you use on your teeth. How about jelly and bean? What, would you, what do you think that would be if we put it together? Right, jelly bean. Here's rain and bow. What do we have when we put those together? Rainbow, good job. Here's butter and fly. What do we, oh, butter is something we eat and a fly, we don't like those. But when we put those two words together, it is a butterfly and those are beautiful. All right, so do you see how that works? And here's our little surgeon here, Dorothy Lavinia Brown, reminding us that girls can do anything. And let's take a look here at our chart. We have sand plus box makes the word sandbox. Now, take a look at how long that word is. But I don't want you to panic when you come to that word in a story. I want you to start looking for the little words inside the big word, okay? Then we have cook plus book, and that makes cookbook, good. We have snow plus man, and that makes snow man. Do you see how long some of those words can be? But if you start breaking them apart, when I say break them apart, I don't mean with scissors, I mean start looking with your eyes and breaking them apart in your, in your mind. So you can see snow and man and put it together and know that it says snowman. Isn't that cool? You are learning so many things about how words work and how our language works. I'm really proud of you. Hey, I want to practice really quick before we go. We have just enough time. Our words, our other high frequency words here, okay? Will you, will you read them and spell them with me? Great. We have woman, W-O-M-A-N, woman. And right, W-R-I-T-E, right. We have wood, W-O-U-L-D, and near, N-E-A-R, near. Great job. Keep practicing those words so you know them automatic. Sing with me, will you? Goodbye now, goodbye now, the clock says we're done. I'll see you tomorrow, goodbye everyone. Come back tomorrow, because we're going to read a story. Bye-bye. Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone.